Hello everyone, thank you in today's third video. We're going to have a look at the e 7 42 day extended model uh, for today's third video. So we've got a real epic here for you. It's going to take us through the next six weeks worth of mean server pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies. And it takes us, can you believe it, to the first week of uh, December. So the beginning of meteorological winter 2000 and 2021 will be covered in this update. If you're enjoying the videos, our channel at the moment, then please give us a like. There's no in the comments what you think. Make sure you subscribe to the Gaz Weathers uh, YouTube channel. It's absolutely fantastic if everybody can uh, do that. We've released Jeremy Friday in a 10 to 14 day uh, video update uh, so far today. I'm going to be live streaming from 10 o'clock. Uh, tonight or after 10 o'clock so uh, yeah we're going to check in see how we're all doing and have a little bit of fun on a Friday night while we are in a uh, curfew of course so that will be coming up our curfew live stream will be going up uh, after uh, after 10 o'clock tonight uh, right then, so we're at the ecmdf.int uh, website for this. Uh, around three weeks ago, they opened up their treasure trove of goodies. All of this was, uh, you know, was, all of this was highly restricted uh, uh, just until around three weeks ago. You could only access these charts if you were uh, a pro met or had a lot of money to be able to uh, spend to access them. So a big thank you to ECMWF uh, for... Uh, for um, making these publicly available. Now, anybody that wants to, you can go to the ecmdf.int website, have a look at these charts for themselves. Thank you so much, ecmdf, uh, for doing that. Right, so let's begin then. Here we go. We're going to look at weather the next six weeks uh, right now. So we're going to begin uh, with the week one, mean cellular pressure anomaly. Now, this is much easier to explain the time frame that we're looking at. So this is taking us uh, from the week from the 26th of October to the 2nd of November. Uh, so looks at Landry. We're going to be focusing on the UK and Ireland for this, by the way. Uh, so, uh, so our European outlook is like on a Tuesday and also included in the live stream on a Wednesday. But what we're doing on a Friday is... Primarily focusing on uh, the UK and Ireland. Of course, you know how, inter how to interpret the maps, then, then you can, uh, you know, you can pick out your region as well if you're watching from Europe and, and uh, see what it's showing for you. Uh, right, so uh, the week uh, week one mean cell pressure not only has low pressure around Greenland and Iceland, high pressure is reaching from the Azores into Spain, and of course it's going to bring in a westerly flow. So the week ahead looks westerly, week ahead looks westerly, looks mild, uh, Atlantic driven, and, uh, and yeah, so an unsettled week to start us off. The 500 millibar height normally from the North Pole view down uh, for weekend is looking like this. Again, indicative of what we've just seen. Low pressure around Greenland and Iceland. High pressure is kind of uh, through the Central Atlantic into the, uh, into through the Azores in Spain. Winds are in from a westerly direction. So it all looks Atlantic driven, mild, wet and windy in the weekend. The temperature anomaly uh, for Ireland and the UK is a little bit milder than average, so above average temperatures generally covering much of northern Europe, just extends down into Ireland and the UK, slightly above our average temperatures to the south. Southwest, it's a bit cooler than average for week one, from 26th uh, of October to the 2nd of November. And rainfall-wise, uh, we look like this. So, uh, yes, you can see where the unsettled weather is, can't you see all the low pressure in the Atlantic, so it's wet and average. Uh, to the northwest of the UK, drive an average down here, where we've got where, where we've got high pressure ridging in from Spain in towards France, and so you can see why we have this westerly wind in uh, week one. Okay, back to mean cellular pressure anomalies. I'm going to have a look at week two. So this is going to take us the week from the 2nd uh, to the 9th of uh, November. This one looking more anticyclonic, above average pressure, high pressure, basically sitting uh, just to our west with these pink colours uh, just here, high pressure to the west. Uh, the wind flow is going something a little bit like that. So uh, we're, we're turning anticyclonic. It could be a little bit on the cool side. That high pressure set is just to our west, so we're probably bringing the air from like west, northwesty direction into that area of high pressure. Could be just a little bit on the cool side. If high pressure was to go any further west, say the high pressure was to come centred around there, then we would definitely start pulling in like a northwesterly wind. As it is, wind is probably like west to slightly northwesterly around that high pressure. So it could be a little bit on uh, the cool side. But the main thing I would have thought is that it's turning quite a lot drier. 
Uh, the 500 millibar height anomaly from the North Pole view down uh, for week two uh, looks like that. Remember, this is the second to the ninth of November, so the first full week of November is indeed looking more anti cyclone. It should be a lot of dry weather on offer, really. Not just the UK, but much of Northern Europe, uh, actually. The week two temperature anomaly from the second to the ninth of November going a little bit cooler than average, so probably pulling in some northwest winds into that area of high pressure. We definitely could be, of course, under a ridge in November. We are likely, skies are clear anyway, to be generating some quite cold nights. So, yeah, we go just a little bit below average. The uh, scale is down here, so you can see in that pale blue sort of shading, which is only ever so slightly uh, below average. But, but nevertheless, it's a little bit on the cooler side there for week two. And precipitation anomaly is week two from the 2nd to 9th of November, looking like that. Of course, high pressure building in. So it's turning drier across the UK and across Ireland uh, as well. In fact, most of Western Europe looks like it's turning drier in the second week. Right, week three uh, means several pressure anomalies are looking like that. High pressure beginning to pull away to our northwest then. This could be a colder week, perhaps. The high pressure beginning to uh, reposition to the south of Greenland and Iceland. That could start pulling colder air from the north, possibly even a little bit from the northeast. So, uh, so yeah, quite a change there. We, we've got lower pressure down here towards Spain as well, so that could be showing the jet streams moving southwards as well. That could be a colder week there then uh, from the uh, night of 16th of November with high pressure to the northwest of UK and Ireland. Let's see how the 500 millibar height anomaly is looking for week three. And again, it's the same idea, that high pressure uh, or above average heights as it's a uh, height anomaly. Uh, the, the above average heights pulling away to, <coughs> excuse me, to the northwest and possibly just allowing in uh, a little bit more of a north to north easy wind. That definitely looks like it could be turning uh, a little bit colder to me. Let's see what the temperature anomaly is looking at and looking like for week three. It does look below average for western parts of Europe. Again, it's not, not desperately cold, um, but certainly most of Western Europe, like from Germany all the way back to Ireland, most of Western Europe uh, coming out with below average temperatures here on the temperature scale. Again, so in those pale blue colors, which I would have thought is like half a degree below average, the slightly deeper blue shade is probably around one degree. Uh, below average. So, yeah, pretty pretty chilly week there in the second week of November. Precipitation anomalies uh, for week three look like that. Uh, so, as the high pressure pulls away from us, uh, it, it just turns a little bit uh, less dry, I suppose. You can see that the driest dish is pulling out into the middle of the Atlantic. So, possibly turning a bit showery. And of course, if we've got showers coming in from a north to northeast direction with below average temperatures in November, they might be wintry, especially so for more northern parts of the country. Uh, let's extend out further then. So we go through to week four. This is going to be the 16th to 23rd of uh, November. Of course, the further out we go, the weaker the signals are getting. The idea is still to have some high pressure just to our west and uh, northwest, perhaps. So still a little bit of high pressure through there. Again, could still be pulling in the wind from like a northwesterly to perhaps northerly type direction. Could still be a little bit on the cool side. The 500 millibar height anomaly for week four from the 16th, 23rd of November. Again, looking very, very similar with the above average heights in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. So again, you would expect to be pulling in like an ordinary event. There's no particular ev evident trough of low pressure, but if you've got an area of above average heights through here, you will usually have a corresponding trough of below average heights somewhere. So I would have thought there's a trough of below average heights probably here on the eastern side of America. And there may be a trough of below average heights through here as well on the western side of Europe, across the northern and western uh, Europe. So so if, you, if it makes sense um, what I'm uh, saying there. So, so we've got like the ridge just here there's a ridge through there and then on either side of the ridge you will usually get a trough and a dip in the jet stream uh so a trough through there and a trough through there which would leave the jet stream doing something that's following around from that trough would leave the jet stream doing something uh a little bit like that perhaps uh so so it might be more in sound actually than you might envisage from that height anomaly Definitely on the cold side of the ridge, though. Uh, the temperature anomaly for week four from the 16th, 23rd of uh, November still hinting at being uh, below average. So if you want a cold November, actually 
this is this is quite good news, uh, really. This update uh, for for the UK and for Ireland too. The precipitation anomaly uh, for week four. Uh, it's looking like that. Weakening signals again, but you see it is gradually beginning to turn a little bit more unsettled across those northern and western parts of Europe. Perhaps just a little bit more, but very, very weak signals. Right, week five uh, means silver pressure anomaly. So let's see if we can just get rid of that. Week five, uh, no, we can't. So you're going to be stuck with that on the edge of the screen. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, week five uh, means silver pressure anomaly from the 23rd to the 30th of November. Really weak signals by this point, but we have got some lower pressure then beginning to set up around Iceland and uh, to the north of the UK might be hinting at the wind going a little bit more westerly but again there's very little to go at from mean cell pressure on it. let's see if the 500 bit of our height normally gives any clues so it does look as though uh, lower pressure is developing around Greenland and Iceland higher pressure is through there and again through here this could be going a bit milder and a bit more unsettled late on in November it might be starting to turn milder and more unsettled there uh, week five temperature anomaly looks like that. So you see it beginning to turn milder across northern and western Europe generally. These cooler than average temperatures were seeding away up towards greener. So I think this could definitely be a change being indicated for the last week of November, something a little bit milder. And let's look at rainfall anomaly, maybe a little bit more unsettled again. Uh, very, very weak signals from a rainfall perspective. And then finally, we go through to week six, which remember is going to be the first week of December. So this is Monday the 30th of November to Monday Day the 7th of, uh, of December, the first week of meteorological winter 2020 21 looks like that. Uh, and again, very, very weak signal, but it looks like there's some sort of small area of low pressure, perhaps over top of the country. We've got higher pressure down here, that's the Azores High, of course, that's displaced a little bit south of its normal position. Uh, no idea what's going on up there, but of course, if we've got a trough over the top of the UK, we've got low pressure over the top of the UK, I mean, you will think something could be forcing the jet stream a little bit further southwards. But again, I'll put a big question mark there because there's simply not enough to uh, go on. The 500 mil of our height anomaly for the first week of December is looking like that. So uh, again, it's showing uh, low pressure just to the west, northwest of the country. There's the Azores High, which is displaced a little bit south and west of its normal position. Again, what's happening up here is a bit of a mystery. Uh, really, so I'll put question marks up there because it looks like the jet stream this low pressure is coming southwards a little bit with the jet stream like that. But if that was happening, you'll think there'd be some higher pressure up here. So it's a little bit confused, but but maybe signs of the uh, jet stream beginning to start tracking southwards again through the first week of December. The uh, week six temperature anomaly uh, looks like that. So overall, mild and average in most parts of Europe, a bit cooler and average just out to our west. And then last but not least, the week six rainfall anomaly uh, looks like that. Perhaps, again, it's a week still because it's six weeks away, uh, but perhaps seem to get being a little bit wetter. Notice these areas are somewhat drier than average. Again, perhaps indicative of some higher pressure up there. Maybe start to force a jet stream a little bit uh, further southwards. Uh, right, thank you to say, and if you're enjoying videos at the moment on my channel, then please can you click like, make sure you subscribe to the Gaz Weather YouTube channel, let us know in the comments what you think, and don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Weather and all of our videos and live streams that uh, that we're doing at the moment. And uh, and, and if everyone subscribes brings a friend, then we will get to uh, 8K subs uh, very, very quickly. We are moving quite quickly as it is, but it would be nice to get to 8K subs uh, before the end of the year wouldn't it so uh hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves to 8,000 subscribers before the end of the year when we get to 8k we're going to give away an amazon voucher worth 30 pounds i've got the out the amazon voucher in uh gaz well with its tails i'll probably show you that on sunday's uh live stream uh, right, so uh, that's it for your video uploads uh, for today. Remember, it's just a snapshot, by the way, bits of what 
uh, the ECMD, I think, said him on his show. It could look very different next week. I always have to put that caveat in so that people don't take it too literally. You know, any forecast beyond five, seven days is fraught with danger. This is going to six weeks away. So it really is at the very, very, very extreme end of the uh, of what is possible in terms of forecasting with a model, uh, really. It's pushing the envelope. It's pushing the boundaries. So, so please don't take it too literally. Uh, especially the further out we go, like all of that stuff at the end of November, the start of December is very, very speculative. Okay, so that's it for your videos uh, uploads for today, but not it for the content, because we're going to be back after 10 with our Friday night live stream. And uh, so, uh, yes, I shall see you live up 10 o'clock. We'll have a bit of a laugh and have a bit of fun on the Friday night uh, live stream. And I'm sure I'll show you the 12Z and uh, whatnot as well. So I shall see you perhaps after uh, after 10. If not, then uh, tomorrow we've got weekend forecast coming up a 10 to 14 day beer update as well tomorrow. And then certainly going to be a massive day on Sunday. Got the 8th winter 2020 update part one, as well as the e 7 Adventure France DWD and JMA seasonal model update. And if all that was enough, we'll have the final written update for Christmas ahead of video updates starting for Christmas on the 1st of November. And we'll be live streaming from 6 o'clock on uh, Sunday evening when we will show you winter data almost certainly from CFSB2. And of course, we'll discuss the winter update as well. For this video, that's all now. I'll see you after 10. Bye for now.